Okay, good morning. This is the new 68 Chevelle. Well, new to me, far from new. This is Redmond, Oregon. There's the Motel 6 I've been based out of. Picked it up yesterday, drove about 11 hours to and from Wenatchee, Washington. And this thing is rusty. It needs a little bit of everything, um, but is well worth the effort. Finding something in this condition is actually near impossible nowadays because guys like me pick them up, rebuild them, and sell them. And that's the plan for me. Um, lots of surface rust, some of it goes through, some of it doesn't. All of the parts that it looks like I'm gonna need are readily available in the aftermarket and shouldn't be too bad, but lots and lots of labor. Although that's actually what I'm in for. Um, this was really fun doing it to my car. Um, a lot of you guys have seen that. Um, doing it again and doing it without time pressure sounds like just absolute fun to me. So let's see, go a little bit closer on all the damages here. This is the firewall and the firewall on the driver's side seems to be in okay shape. On the passenger side, it has, it is crushed. Something happened big, likely front passenger side fender, big crash, frame is good seems to be straight obviously a little rusty but um, something destroyed that firewall again replaceable piece um, dashboard inside is destroyed and hopefully that wasn't uh, too painful for whoever the occupants were but there's something big happened on that side um, it's rare you see a dash crushed like that and even the glove box is completely dented in and uh, oh yeah there's the rear bumper um, not usually where it goes, but hey, we can move that. Um, lots of holes in the uh, floor. Again, easy to replace. I actually did similar work to the uh, uh, to my Chevelle um, with the floors. And oh yeah, the transmission tunnel is even bent from whatever accident. So something hit hard, but not low where the frame got damaged, just the body. Again, replaceable. Came with a back seat. That's kind of cool. That's actually a really expensive item. Um, and what else? It seems to be, the funny thing is, is that the original color of this car seems to be exactly the same as the original color of my Chevelle. So that's kind of a uh, weird, um, let's see. Doors actually fit and close really well. That's a huge win for trying to adjust those. It also uh, tells us the frame or the body rather is not uh, destroyed so, so uh, much that adjusting the doors is uh, impossible. The little body gap between the, uh, rear quarter panel and the door um, that's not bad I mean that's actually really terrific so you can live with that um, getting that adjustment is tricky um, the car's got a fair amount of Bondo on this side which is not good but that's okay a lot of this is getting replaced anyway there is a really good example of way too much Bondo let's see if I can break that off ah yeah that was that was tough there we go um, so yeah, a lot of rust under there, but that quarter panel is likely getting replaced. Um, can't open the trunk right now. I saw it yesterday. It needs a really big screwdriver. What you see poking out of there is actually what's left, left of the uh, yellow jacket nest that we uh, contended with yesterday when we were picking the car up. Um, yeah, that was fun. And what else? This side, yep, poles, rust, quarter fenders getting redone. No problem. Um, let's see, guy driving by in truck wondering why I'm talking to myself. And the side opens right up, more holes in the floor. Um, oh yeah, the straps. The body was not bolted onto the frame. Frame is attached to the car trailer really well, but um, found out while I was driving that, uh, hey, there's a little bit of lift in the body when the wind picked that up. And then five minutes later, I get a text from the guy I just bought it from and said, oh yeah, the body may not be bolted down. You might want to look at that. That was kind of funny. A little pucker moment. Pulled over in the freeway, strapped it down. Good to go. Um, so what else? That is pretty much it. So thank you for watching and uh, this will hopefully get posted soon. Today.
if I can figure out how to. Thanks, guys.